Hello, it's Nat from Studio Hacks, and today I'm answering Cora questions. Somebody's asked, how do you adjust the volume in GarageBand for iOS? And there are a number of ways to adjust the volumes of different tracks, depending on what you're going for. You can change the volume of a track, you can automate the volume on the track, and you can also change the volume of individual clips, and I'll show you how to do all three. So first of all, the most simple, I think what this person is asking is just how do I adjust the volume of a single track? So all we do is click on the tracks icon once, like this, and the track is highlighted. We then go to the cog wheel on the top right hand corner, and we select track controls. This will give us the track volume slider right here. And we can change the volume, that's zero, so minus infinity. And we, we don't really have any, um, ledger lines or decibel readings like you would uh, on some of the more higher end digital audio workstations. This is just a very simple way of, I think around here is about unity if you know much about mixing. So you can pop the volume up or the volume down of that track. That's the simplest way to do it. You can automate this volume throughout your track. I'm going to go back out to the main view by hitting this button right here again. You can um, automate the volume to change, make changes throughout your track by clicking once on a track and then clicking on it a second time. And then we bring up this uh, little automation thing here. So you can see now there's kind of a grayed out line on each uh, track, and this is the automation line. So to create automation points, we hold our finger down on this pencil right here. And while we're holding that down, we tap on that line to create automation points. We can then grab one of those points and drag it down. So we can use one of these automation points to say fade the volume in at the start of a track like this. And we can make a track quieter for a bit and a bit louder. So let's just have a listen to this track and see what that automation is going to do here. So you can, if you can hear, this line here was fading in. So it's a really nice way to create some really interesting, make your songs a lot more interesting. And you can click on one of those and you can copy that breakpoint. And then if you just move the playhead here, you can click there and hit paste. You can also double tap on that and you can delete one of those breakpoints. And you can cut and paste. Um, we can also copy all of these to another track. If I drag, if I click my finger down and drag over a bunch of automation points, I can also uh, copy them by tapping there and hitting copy. And then down on this one, I need to make sure the playhead is at the start of where I want that to be pasted. And then if I click paste, you'll see those exact same automation points get pasted down onto that track. The final way to edit volume, so when I'm finished with the automation, I can just hit done. The final way to change volume is if you have individual uh, clips like this, um, or you might have individual drummer clips and audio clips or MIDI clips, you just uh, click on that, click on it again, and under settings, we have an individual clip gain. So that will change the volume up and down just for that clip. And then I think this works on the drummer tracks. I don't think I've tried it out. Let me go settings. So there we go. We can change the velocity, which is kind of like the equivalent of volume, uh, but for a software instrument track. So those are three ways you can change the volume um, of individual instruments or tracks and even automate them over time in GarageBand. Thanks for that question on Cora. And if you found this content valuable, make sure you shoot us a sub or a like. And uh, if you have any topics you would like me to cover, just pop a question down in the comments. Thanks and I'll see you next time.